So as most of you guys will know, we are British, living in Belgium, and we've been living here for nine months now, and we're kind of starting to finally like it. So nine months ago, I was offered a job here in Brussels, Belgium. We were kind of reluctant to take it. I said no. And we've been living here nine months now, and we're now finally starting to feel settled, and we really enjoy living here. A couple of months ago, we did an update, and there are a lot of things we had to complain about, a lot of things we didn't like. But now that we've looked past the bad driving, the paperwork, how expensive it is to live here, we actually really like it. It took us quite a long time for us to get settled here. I think because it was very different to what we were expecting, that we've lived abroad twice. And each time it was a very immersive experience that we had to just get on with the way that they did things in their country. But here, it's a very different situation, particularly in the area that we live, that it's so international that you almost don't feel like you're, you're living either, or you're living a full Belgian life, but you're also living a slightly British, slightly just international life. And so that's kind of confusing and it's taken some while to adjust to, but actually it's a really fun way to live. So the international aspect means there's a lot of things here that are very similar to our culture back home and a lot of people speak English which has been really helpful. And one of the big things we've noticed is with the healthcare. Healthcare is super different to back home. And we were a little bit skeptical because everything's privatized, but actually it's been amazing. It really has. We were slightly apprehensive about the healthcare here and up until being pregnant, we didn't use the doctors once. We were just a bit scared of it. We didn't know how it was going to be and how expensive it was going to be, but it has been amazing. Our care during pregnancy so far has been literally out of this world compared to what we're used to back in the UK. And the UK is great, but here, it's even better. So Joe is currently 14 weeks pregnant. We've had two scans already. We have another one coming up. So we'll be finding out the gender of our baby. Our doctor has been amazing. We've started really doing has. the paperwork for the hospital that we're going to give birth in. So make sure you go check out our other videos. Another thing that we found slightly difficult when we first moved here, for me at least, was making friends. I expected that because a lot of people were moving in and out of the city, that people would be quite open to making friends and would really try and make the most of making friends whilst they're here. But actually, I really have found the opposite, that people get settled really quickly, it seems, in the friendships that they have. And so people are happy to meet you, they're really lovely. But then that's kind of it. So I, I met lots of people at different groups I'd go to with the boys. But in terms of making like good friends, it took me a long time and I felt really quite lonely for a long time. But now that we've been here for nine months, I've started to meet people that have just started moving into the city who are also looking for friends, who are in a similar situation to me. And it's been such fun to be able to make friends with them and also to make friends with people that have been living here longer as I've really made the effort to get out of my comfort zone and meet people around us and stuff. So that's been really nice. And one of the other things that was really strange is that we got married at university and had kids at university. So we have this very much this mindset of having Having like a schedule and a plan and now that we've become adults that's been really strange because now we have adult routines where I go to work Joe has toddler groups we have friends over in the evening and that's been really strange but it's been really nice and that has definitely helped us feel like we've settled here and made a life here yeah and I think that took us a really long time to find what our routine was here in Belgium and finding the different things that I enjoy doing with the boys so I love going to play groups and toddler groups with the boys that they have quite a lot here that are in English, which is such a blessing for me because I have really struggled to learn French. So I go to a lot of BCT toddler groups, which the boys love, and I've been able to meet a lot of really lovely people there. And it really helps my day to be able to have other adults to talk to during the day, and the boys have fun things that they're able to do and so many different toys to play with. And something crazy that we actually did a couple of weeks ago, which is something we've planned to do for such a long time, and living here in Brussels gave us the opportunity to do that, we actually got a babysitter. And we went on a date outside of the house with no children. And this is the crazy thing about Brussels. We went to the cinema and watched a movie in English. How crazy is that? Living abroad in a non-English speaking country, watching a movie in English. I thought that was amazing. That really did feel like I was at home. Yeah, that is something we are not used to. When we lived in Spain and Italy, it was Spanish and Italian. You had no option of English. So it is just mind blowing here that so much is done in English, that even just adverts on the street are written in English, which is nice for us because it's nice to be able to understand what's going, well Ethan understands French, I'm 
getting there. But it's nice, it's nice to not feel completely out of the water, be able to understand what's going on around you. So one of the funniest things we found here is that in the Belgian culture, a lot of parents will send their kids to school when they're two and a half years old. And so everybody looks at us like, why are your kids not at school yet? They're like super old. And back in the UK, you kind of start on your four or five. So Leo has not started school yet, but we have put his application in. We find out in a couple of weeks which school he'll be going to and he'll start this September. I'm quite nervous about him starting because he is still so young to us. But at the same time, he is so excited now because all the other children his age are at school full time that he is really ready to go. So we're excited for him and hopefully he likes it. He'll be going to school in an English speaking school, which is good, but at the same time it's also sad because it means he won't learn French as fluently as if he went to a French speaking school. But it just seems the better choice that it's a private school paid for by Ethan's work. So it seems silly to turn down a free private school. And I just didn't feel confident enough sending him to a French speaking school when I don't speak enough French. So I do feel sad that he is missing out on that slightly, but at the same time, I do feel comforted knowing that he's going to a school where he's going to understand everything, and as a parent, I am able to understand what's going on. I can ask the teacher questions and know that he's, he's going to be getting on fine there. So we find out in a couple of weeks' time which school he'll be going to, so make sure you hit subscribe and notifications. You can watch that video when it comes up because it's going to be super exciting finding out which school he's going to. And it's really going to change our lives because this is the next big step for us, I guess, with having a baby. Is Leo going to school? That is just crazy. Yeah, I'm not really looking forward to having to do the school run every day in Brussels traffic. The Brussels traffic during the middle of the day is not too bad, especially if you don't go in the centre. But in rush hour, it's not really something that I enjoy doing. So to do that every day is not really the most exciting thought. But... It's fine, it'll be worth it. So we have now been living here for nine months. It was a bit of a rocky start, but we're really enjoying that. We love our house. The spring has come, the weather is now amazing, and we're looking forward to the summer. And we're really excited to be living here. We're really grateful that we're living here. We're great if you guys watched this video. If you enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up, and we will see you next time. Goodbye.